Hi everyone, this is Nana Lynn, and you're listening to Storytime with Nana Lynn and Glow. Today Glow is running some errands and doing different things, so I'm at the hospital waiting for my father to do some tests because I'm not allowed in because of COVID, but um, we're going to read out of our book. It's called The Missing Kitten and Other Stories, and this particular story is called The Unwanted Kitten. So we're going to read the first chapter and then we will continue on with our stories. The first chapter is called The Big Move. Now this story is also written by Holly Webb and it's written for Lucy. So here we go, chapter one, The Big Move. And there is the picture of the little kitten. There's always a kitten somewhere. As the car started, Lucy pressed her face up against the window, staring sadly back at her home, except it wasn't her home anymore. In a few hours time, another family would arrive and another moving truck, just like the one that was lumbering down the road in front of her parents' car. She blinked back tears as they pr pulled away. Staring back at Nutmeg and Ginger, the two friendly cats from the house next door, they'd been frightened away by all the noise, but now they were back in their usual spot, the wall between Lucy's yard and the one next door. They liked to sunbathe on the bricks, and Lucy loved to play with them and cuddle with them and pretend they were hers. She longed to have a cat of her own. She had asked her parents so many times, but they always said she would have to wait until she was older. Orange Cat stared curiously after the car. Lucy rolled down her window and waved to them. Nutmeg meowed and walked down the wall toward the street. Lucy sniffed miserably. She couldn't believe that she would never see them again. A few seconds later, the car turned out of her road and she could no longer see the cats or even the house. And there she is, staring out the car window. Poor Lucy. How long until we get there, Ethan, Lucy's older brother asked, unplugging his new iPod for a moment. A couple of hours probably, their mom said. We should definitely be settling in by lunchtime. Doesn't it feel great being on our way to our new home? Their dad added enthusiastically. Lucy sniffed and said nothing. She clutched Stripey, her old toy cat, even tighter. They'd left her home behind. What, would the, what they were going to do was only a horrible house. It would never, ever be home. Lucy hardly spoke the entire time. She just gazed out of the window and worried. A new house, a new school, no friends. She missed Ellie, her best friend, so much already. Ellie would be in the middle of P.E. right now. I wonder if she's missing me too, Lucy thought. We're almost there, her mom said excitedly, jerking Lucy out of her daydream, where she was back at school playing soccer with Ellie. Look, Lucy, this is our street. Doesn't it look beautiful? Lucy made a small, hmm, sort of noise. It was nice, pretty yards and friendly looking houses but it wasn't home. Oh, good, the movers are here already. Let's start getting unpacked. I bet you two wanna see your rooms, don't you? Dad sounded even more enthusiastic than mom, if that was possible. Lucy's new room was huge, much bigger than her old one, as mom had happily pointed out. And you can have it any color you want, Lucy, she promised, placing a box of toys on the floor. Maybe purple, what do you think? Lucy sat on the bed, that the movers had dumped in the corner and gazed around, hugging Stripey. She was trying to be happy, but it was all so different. The weekend flew past in a messy, grubby whirl of unpacking. Lucy felt left out. Mom and Dad were so happy about the move, and even Ethan was excited about the new house. She seemed to be the only one who missed home. Now the moment she was really dreading had arrived. Her first day at her new school. Surely someone who just moved shouldn't get at least a week off or should get at least a week off from school, not just one Friday spent driving to the new house. Even Ethan had complained that it wasn't fair that they had to start their new schools today. Lucy trailed slowly across the empty playground after her mom, who was heading for the school office. Look, a school garden, mom said brightly, and the sign says they have a gardening club. You'd love that, helping to plant seeds, wouldn't you? Mm, maybe, Lucy muttered. She saw a notice up about a soccer team, too, but there was no way she'd be able to join a team now in the middle of the school year. 
Everyone will already have their friends and their groups, she thought unhappily. I'm going to be so left out. The school secretary buzzed them in and took them over to Lucy's classroom. The school was actually much newer than the one Lucy had been going to until three days before, but she wished she were back at her old school. She stayed silent as her mom and the secretary chatted about the new computer suite. Her mouth was drooping sadly as they arrived at class 5W, and the secretary showed them in. Her new teacher, Mrs. Walker, smiled kindly at her and then announced, Class, I'd like you to meet Lucy. She just moved here, and I want you to all make her feel welcome. See the teacher telling the, telling the students that they need to welcome her? <sighs> Lucy blushed and didn't know where to look. She hated having everyone staring at her. Mrs. Walker then took Lucy aside and said the class had really been looking forward to having her, and she knew Lucy would be very happy once she'd settled in. Lucy wasn't sure how, how she was supposed to do that. She'd never had to settle in anywhere before. She'd been to the same school since kindergarten, and she had known everyone. You sit there, Lucy, and Olivia and Katie will help you, Mrs. Walker said. You'll show Lucy where everything is, won't you, girls? Olivia and Katie nodded and smiled. Hi, Lucy, they chorused. Hello, Lucy muttered and sat down as quickly as she could. Olivia and Katie tried their best, but Lucy was too shy to give more than yes or no answers to their polite questions. Eventually, they gave up, and although they stayed with her through lunchtime, they stopped bothering to talk to her. They don't like me, Lucy told herself unhappily, as she listened silently to Olivia telling Katie all about her next ballet exam. No one's even talking to me. Class 5W were actually quite a friendly group, but they couldn't do much faced with the silent Lucy, and she was so unhappy that she couldn't see that she needed to make an effort too. Lucy was in the coat room putting on her coat to go home when she heard some of the girls talking about her. She stayed frozen where she was, hidden behind a coat rack and listened. That new girl is a little strange, someone said giggling. Yeah, she hardly said a word all day. Lucy recognized the voice of Olivia, one of the girls who was showing her around. Well, I hope Mrs. Walker doesn't make us stay with her tomorrow, too. Maybe she thinks she's too good for us, a voice suggested. I'm glad I didn't have to talk to her. Yeah, she does seem a bit stuck up, Olivia agreed. Another girl from Lucy's class, who was on the same side of the coat room as her, gave Lucy a worried look and coughed loudly. There was a sudden silence. Then Olivia's head popped around the coats and her eyes went saucer wide. She shot back again and there was a burst of embarrassed giggling. Lucy stood up and stalked at, out, blinking back tears. So what if they didn't like her? She certainly didn't like them. She heard the girls start whispering very fast, worrying about her telling Mrs. Walker what they'd said. I hate this school, she thought, as she brushed her sleeve across her face angrily, trying to pretend to herself and everybody else that she wasn't crying. So how was your first day? Did you have a good time? Her mom asked eagerly as she met Lucy at the school gate. No, it was horrible, and I want to go home. Oh, Lucy, I'm sorry. Her, her mom looked at her very anxiously. I'm sure it'll get better, honestly. You just need to take a few days to get used to everything. She sighed and then said in a cheerful voice, I thought we'd walk back. It's not far. Ethan wanted to go by himself, so you and I can see if we can find any nice parks on the way home. Not there. Home. I want to go back to our old house and my old school. I hate it here. No one likes me, Lucy wailed. I miss Ellie and all my friends. Mom sighed again. Lucy, your dad and I have explained this. We had to move. Dad's job is here now, and if we lived in our old house... He'd have to spend hours getting to work. We'd never see him. You wouldn't like that, would you? Lucy shook her head and sniffed, trying not to cry where lots of people from school would see her. I know, but it's really awful here. Her mom put an arm around her shoulder. I know it's hard, sweetheart, but I promise it will get better. We'll just have to do lots of fun things to cheer you up. Lucy rubbed her sleeve across her eyes. She couldn't believe she had to go back tomorrow. And that's the end of chapter one. Kind of sounds like Lucy might have gotten off on a bad foot with her friends. They will be her friends. I'm sure of it. But 
that's for another chapter and another day. So I will see you in the next video.